Hey guys, Adriana Costa here at the Billboard Hollywood Party for Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' You with Ryan Seacrest. Hey, it's on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year. We are joined by the one, the only, Lauren Giraldo. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm excited for the new year. Okay, so 2014 was a good year to you, real good year to you. You became hugely successful. You're even going through some sort of brand change. But um, tell us about 2015. Like, what do you have in store for us? So I grew up doing musical theater, which is something that not everybody knows about me, but I really want to get into the movies, acting, singing. So any of that stuff, I'm like totally like that. 2015 is the time. What made you so relatable to your fans? How did you accumulate such a huge following? I think I did it because I wasn't doing it with ever the purpose of getting fans or followers. And my friends asked me to do my vines. And I'm like, no, like I'm not going to make vines. But I'm like, you know what? It's not like I have anything better to do. I'm sitting at my house. And then I just started making a bunch of vines for the sole purpose of making my friends laugh. And then it just ended up being like my school laughing and then other schools. One of the other young social media stars said that at her school, she's such a celebrity that other kids aren't allowed to come within five feet of her. Is it similar to you? Oh you? my God. I mean, I, I left school. I'm homeschooled now. Oh, you are? Okay. Um, I'm sure that if I still went to school though, like I'd be a little weird, but I'd let people come within five feet of me. I don't even think it was her rule. I it was just it probably was like a safety thing. Exactly. Oh, exactly. wow. That's crazy. You're brand ambassador to a major company, Clean and Clear. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So what's, what do you, what's the next brand? What's the next brand? I don't know. Brands. Hi, I'm here. Oh, yeah. no. I have no idea. The Clean and Clear one was amazing. It was all about girl empowerment and, you know, being okay with who you are and showing the world without being afraid of judgment. So that's something I'm really strong on, you know. Go out there and be weird, which is what I do every day. And if people don't like it, like whatever, I like it, so <laughs> bye. So that was why like that worked out so nicely. And your skin's insane. Thank you. Gorgeous, it's you all guys. the clean and clear. <laughs> Who is your favorite artist right now? My favorite, I'm always all over the place with my artists. It's the weirdest thing ever, but I really have to say my favorite right now is Ariana Grande. You look like her. You walked and I was people like, People oh, tell me that I, I love that I, I look like her. Ariana Grande. Oh my god, when people tell me that, I swear it just like increases my day by like 12%. Just 12%. That's but it? enough. So, you know, maybe you could play her in a movie. Please. <laughs> awesome. Anything else you want to talk about for 2015? Yes, I really want um, my viewers to start watching my YouTube because crazy stuff is happening. I just started filming on um, Hollywood Boulevard, some crazy stuff for YouTube. Because I've been mostly on Vine, but I'm going to grow my YouTube channel. It's going to be really funny. So definitely, like, watch the YouTube. Give me one little teaser. What can they expect? Um, so I told you how I grew up doing musical theater. I'm doing improv musical theater on the street with strangers and creating musicals to people who have no idea it's even coming. Wow. And you yeah. get recognized on the street? Yeah. All the time? All the time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. And thank here's you. to a big 2015. Yes, to you too. Thank you.